What is up guys? We are back today for another live in the OU tier. I just built a team and if you can't tell actually I just got my new mic in the mail. Came in today. I'm really excited about it. Sounds great. I uh, hope it sounds great in post the editing as well. Uh, hopefully it can bring you guys uh, great audio quality from here on out. So let's jump into the live. Uh, I built this team a couple of seconds ago. I haven't actually tried it out. Uh, looks pretty solid. I'm utilizing uh, Mega Metagross. We used Mega Metagross a couple of lives back, but uh, just because of its synergy with Hydreigon, I really wanted to try it out. We are also using, as you can see, a Cofagrigus, which I'm really excited to try. Uh, let's look at the team really quickly. Uh, so we've got uh, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, Earthquake, and Ice Punch. Basically, uh, Hydreigon can hit everything Metagross can't. And they cover each other's weaknesses really, really well between Levitate. Uh, the re this resists Fire. Uh, it's, it's just a really good uh, typing overall. Uh, we have a Cofagrigus to be able to take on fighting types. Uh, Thunderous to slow things down with Thunder Wave and just hit really hard with Life Orb. Uh, we don't have a Defogger on this team, which might uh, end up causing a little bit of an issue if we run into spike stacking teams, but we'll figure it out. We have uh, set up Landorus over here with Swords Dance, Rock Polish, Earthquake, and Stone Edge. And Lava Pluming, Toxicking, and this is our Stealth Rocker, of course. Taunting, Heatran. So let's just uh, jump right into it. We'll see uh, if we can get a game, a game rather quickly. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to know how this team is going to work out. I don't know yet. So uh, I do see a couple, a couple of glaring weaknesses. I tried to cover my Keldeo weakness, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, hopefully I run into uh, Keldeos that want to lock themselves into Secret Sword more than they do uh, Scald or Hydro Pump. Hydreigon can take the, uh, the water type hits, so... We run into a pretty stally team between Chansey, Clefable, and, uh, and Skarmory here. Uh, but uh, Heatran can definitely put in a lot of work between Taunting, Toxicking, uh, Stealth Rocking, and stuff like that. So uh, I'm just going to want to lead with uh, probably... kind of want to lead with Metagross right off the bat. But uh, I think... I don't have a U-Turner either, eh? or a Volt Switcher. I just realized uh, I got no momentum. Uh, but I'm gonna lead with Metagross. Uh, leads pretty well against Latios, so that's good. And uh, here I can pretty much just throw off a uh, an Ice Punch. Actually, I'll be able to catch the Skarmory on Switch in. Uh, I wish I had Thunder Punch right about now, but uh, it doesn't really matter. We're still gonna get off a good amount of damage. He is Rocky Helmet, so we're not gonna be able to stay in here. I am gonna double in a Heatran here. Hopefully he doesn't double himself. He does go for his rocks. Uh, I can do one of two things: either Lava Plume here. Or fire off my own stealth rocks, and I think I'm gonna go for the. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the rocks. I don't think a Skarmory can stay in on me. Uh, he pretty much has to switch out into either uh, Chansey or. Uh, I guess Torn's a pretty good switch in, especially if he's carrying uh, superpower. So we'll see what he wants to do. Uh, again, I, I might switch up the team uh, between battles. Uh, if I see any uh, weaknesses right away, I notice that I don't have U turn or, or Volt Switch, so I might, might change that out. Uh, might want to get a defogger because now these rocks are going to be uh, plaguing me. He decides to switch into his Latios, which is pretty much telegraphing to me that the fact that he might have Earthquake. So uh, I don't want to switch in Hydreigon, obviously, because it's slower than this. I'm also considering running Scarf over Life Orb on this thing, but I really like Roost. Uh, it creates a nice... Uh, it's a solid wall breaker, nonetheless. So uh, definitely cannot take an EQ, I don't think. Uh, but I'm just going to fire off a Toxic here. Uh, he is going to Mega Evolve, and he's going to go for the Earthquake, so he is Mega Latios. So we lose our uh, Heatran right there. Not too big of, of a deal. We still have things to deal with his Skarmory and such. So uh, definitely cannot go into Hydreigon here. I think my best play is into Landorus right here. Uh, he's probably unaware Clef, so I can't set up just yet. Uh, but I am just going to go for the... Uh, I want to go for Swords Dance here. Uh, no, I'm just going to go for the Edge. I'm going to hope uh, he predicts me to be uh, Scarfed and go for U-Turn right here. Hopefully he'll switch into a Skarmory, which would be best case scenario. I think he is physically defensive from the Ice Punch damage, but we'll see. And uh, I'll just pause it until he picks a move because he's taking a while between turns. Alright, so uh, turns out he wasn't fully physical. He had a special move and he hit me with a Draco Meteor, so we lost our... Uh, we lost our uh, Landorus right there, a little unfortunate, but uh, I could go into Cofagrigus here, pretty much walls it at this point, uh, with the minus two special attack. Our special defense is not bad in any sense, so I can definitely go into that. Maybe fire off a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, yeah, I think that's my best play. I'm going to go into uh, Cofagrigus here, and uh, either knock off or Shadow Ball, Willow. I'm just going to throw out a Willow. 
uh, and burn whatever wants to come in. I'm pretty sure he's not going to want to stay in because if he Dracos me again, then he's going to leave me in range to be able to pain split, on, pain split him on any one of his Pokemon. So I don't see that happening. Uh, this is a pretty good counter to, uh, to Chansey, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, so it doesn't really matter that Heatran went down, but uh, the problem right now is the speed on my team. Uh, I have to get rid of the Skarmory if I want to win. So hopefully he just switches into it right here and gets burned. That would be awesome. I don't think that's going to happen, but we can always hope. Uh, I think his best play is probably into Clefable, because it doesn't mind uh, 1v1-ing this, as he does go into Clefable. And as we predicted, it is uh, it is indeed unaware. So I, that means I can Will-O-Wisp it right here. He's going to Thunder Wave me. Not too big of a deal. We were slow as is. Uh, and uh, here I'm going to go for a knockoff to get rid of this thing's leftovers to whittle it down. Obviously, he can soft boiled up, but I'm not really too concerned. He goes for a Moonblast right there. I am going to knock off his leftovers. And uh, here I'm just going to go into Metagross, I think. Uh, yeah, I definitely need a de uh, Defogger on this team because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Metagross and I'm going to pull a double into my Thunderous to be able to Thunderbolt him. Um, hmm. Is that the best play? I mean, I don't really have an alternative. Uh, well, my other alternative is to go into Hydreigon. And then fire off a Dark Pulse. Because Clefable won't want to come in on a Dark Pulse plus flame, a Flamethrower, I don't think. Not with the burn. So, yeah, I think Thunderous is my best play. Because I don't want to take the Rocky Helmet damage with... Uh... Oh, he goes for Thunder Wave. Okay, uh, I can work with that. Unfortunately, I'm not Nasty Plot. Otherwise, I would have been able to set up on the uh, on the Clefable right now and just win. Uh, I am just going to go for Thunderbolt. Uh, it doesn't seem to have a really good switch other than Chansey. So, he is going to let his Clefable go down. That's great. Uh, so, now we can pretty much fire off Dark Pulses at uh, free will. And uh, if his Chansey doesn't have a status move, then I'm pretty sure Hydreigon can take it on. He chooses to go into Latios here. So, uh, I'm guessing he's just going to drop a Draco on me. So, I'm probably going to go into... I'm going to go into Metagross right here. Because he's not Life Orb, so... Uh, he is going to drop a Draco right there, and if we win the speed tie, that means we knock him out uh, with a, uh, well, do we knock him out with an Ice Punch? I think we do. I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, regardless, I'm actually just going to go for the Ice Punch, just because even if his Skarm wants to come in, that means we go down, which is uh, actually not bad for me. Uh, as he actually just lets his, uh, he's pretty much sacking off his Lottie at this point, because I can go Thunderous, and um, I can just HP Ice here. But I'm just going to Thunderbolt. Um, again, his chances a pretty good switch, but his only defogger is Skarmory, and it can't come in on my Thunderous. So we're going to keep Rocks up for a little bit. And uh, if his Latios goes down, then I'm pretty sure Hydreigon can take on his team, because the only thing that Tornadus can go for uh, for on my Hydreigon is, uh, is Superpower. And if it's not carrying it, then I can just Roost up on it every time it wants to go for a U-turn. So I'm not too bad right here. Unfortunately, uh, like we said, the rocks are still up, so I'm going to have to fire off a Focus Blast right here, as we do miss, unfortunately. He is going to go for Wish, and uh, I mean, I'm just going to fire off a Thunderbolt so he can't pass off the Wish. And uh, he's going to go for Seismic Toss and knock us out. And now I can bring in Quifagragus, and I can do one of two things. I can either knock off his Eviolite, or I can... Does Quifagragus just win if I don't ever get Parod? I think I might be able to, actually. Uh, I'm going to go for Knock right here, because I don't want him going into Lottie. He actually chooses to go into Torn, and I'm going to get rid of that thing's Wide Lens. It's, that's, a, that's a cool set, actually. I like that, uh, to be able to hit Hurricanes more often. That's pretty cool. Um, is he just going to go for that? I think he would. Uh, I don't really have a response to that, though. This is going to hurt if he lands it. Uh, I'm just going to throw out a Shadow Ball. He's going to go for the Hurricane. It's going to do a lot of damage. I'm uh, going to land the Shadow Ball, and now I have to hope he doesn't land the next one. And I'm going to go for Shadow Ball again. If he does, then that's uh, that's pretty much a loss. And like I said, I'll fix the team between games. It's not a problem. I just made it really quickly, but I was actually do, I was supposed to do another uh, recording, but uh, something fell through, so uh, we're going to we're gonna stick with this team. <laughs> Might bring another team to the next game. Who knows? I'll try to figure it out. But uh, it's taking a while to choose his move. I don't know what he would want to go for here. But again, as long as I... If I can get him my Cafagragus on his Chansey, 
while it's still relatively full on health, I can still pain split all the way back up. But he actually chooses to go for Heat Wave, very smart play, uh, a lot more accurate. So that's going to be the end of Cofagrigus, and that's uh, pretty much going to be a good game. Um, but if he's running Wide Lens, would he be running Superpower? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's go for uh, Dark Pulse. He actually is carrying U-Turn. Uh, he can pretty freely go into Chansey right here. I could have Superpower, though. He has to keep that in mind. But I am gonna just going to Roost right here. As he is going to throw out a Seismic Toss. And uh, now I'm just going to go for a Dark Pulse and hope to flinch him down. Uh, but either way, I mean, as long as Lottie doesn't miss a, uh, a Draco Meteor, then he should pretty much have this. We do flinch him on the first turn, so... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna eventually have to go for Roost, so it doesn't really matter. We're only getting off 18% a turn on this thing, 17 on that turn. So uh, Seismic Toss is gonna hit us, and uh, I'm just gonna Dark Pulse again, uh, as he actually chooses to switch out directly into his Latios that turn, and now he can just go into Torn and U-Turn, so it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and that's gonna be a uh, game right there. So I'm gonna lose that one. He's gonna drop a GG. And I am going to fix up the team, <laughs> as you can see, uh, it doesn't work too well, but I'm not the best team builder, I don't claim to my, uh, myself to be the best team builder, I think I'm getting a little bit better at it, uh, and I can definitely see the, the adjustments that the team needs, so I'll be, I'll be back with those adjustments, and hopefully we can pick up two wins uh, for the rest of the episode, guys, so uh, I'll just pause and then we'll come back. Alright guys, we are back, we are looking for another game, I tested this team out before bringing it to you, so uh, we're going to be using this instead, it's rocking uh, Thunderous... Uh, Therian form? Yeah, that's the Therian form. Uh, we've got a Spadef Excadrill, we've got an Amoongus now, so we kept the Metagross, uh, Hydreigon, and Landorus core, which still works really, really well, and it works even better in conjunction with these three last Pokemon. Uh, Excadrill can take on the likes of uh, Raikou, pretty much most fast electrics, things like that. Um, Amoongus takes on Keldeo, actually Amoongus is just, has phenomenal typing, you'll, you'll see in this game, like, just right here, right off the bat, I can tell. Uh, it can pretty much wall um, Scizor for the most part, as long as it's not SD. Uh, pretty much walls uh, Rotom as well. Doesn't have as great a matchup here because he does have a Zoroark a, uh, and two Psychic types being uh, Latios and Metagross, but we'll work around it. Um, I see the, uh, the Garchomp definitely being a pretty good lead for him. Um, I'm just gonna lead Hydreigon because that's the best lead. We are Scarfed Hydreigon now, I did forget to mention, uh, as he does lead with his Garchomp, which is great. Uh, now I can either fire off a Draco here. I think Draco's just all around my best play, definitely. Uh, as he misses a Focus Blast, he's actually uh, Zororic, uh, so that's gonna go down. Uh, he, chose, he chose to lead with his Zororic, and uh, he went for Focus Blast, unfortunately, and missed for him. He was Scarfed which pretty much tells me that his uh, Garchomp is probably not Scarfed, so. Uh, he chooses to go into his Scizor here, and, um, hmm, I want to go into, I think Landorus is pretty nice, uh, as it can, I can get off a, uh, a Swords Dance. If he goes for Swords Dance right here, though, that could be a little bit of a problem. So I'm actually going to go Thunderous, just to keep him from setting up. He actually goes for U-Turn, and that's, I think that's Banded. I uh, just want to calc that really quickly. Uh, so Scizor, let's say OU Band, uh, where are you, there you are, versus Thunderous T, U-Turn does about that, yeah, that's definitely banded. Uh, as he chooses to go into his Latios here, which is perfectly fine, we have a direct counter to Latios being Excadrill, uh, as he actually chooses to go into his uh, Garchomp, so that's okay, I think, I'm pretty sure we can take one EQ from a non-offensive Garchomp, definitely, uh, so I'm just gonna get up my rocks here, as he's gonna do the same. And uh, he's faster than me. No, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to go for a spin here. Uh, and we're he went for a Dragon Tail. So we're going to be able to get rid of the rocks. He's going to Dragon Tail me out. Hopefully into Hydreigon. That would be awesome. But he gets me into Metagross. Which, I mean, is technically okay as well. Because I do have Ice Punch. I don't see him Dragon Tailing here. So I'm just going to go directly into Hydreigon on this turn. Uh, as he is going to get back up his rocks. So good play on his part. Uh, but now I'm free to Draco everything. Uh, not even a, a Scizor being banded makes it so much easier for me. Uh, he chooses to go into Scizor as you're gonna see right here. Draco is gonna do a tremendous amount, 39% right there. He is gonna get off a free U-turn right here, uh, but I'm gonna make him do it on Amoongus so I can get the Regenerator, uh, and uh, we'll see just how much it does. 51%, not too much. After the Black Flows and Regenerator, it's pretty much as if nothing happened. I do take rocks, but everything else is fine. He chooses to go into his own Metagross right here. Uh, I don't have a very good switch into this thing, uh, barring my own Metagross potentially. Uh, Hydreigon is way too obvious, 
I feel like he's just going to throw off an ice punch at this point. I'm extremely weak to ice, I just realized. I have four ice weaknesses. Luckily, Excadrill and, and Metagross handle those pretty well. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go into my own Gross here. And uh, he's going to throw out a... Let's hope Zen Headbutt. He goes for Meteor Mash, so that's fine. Uh, he does not get the attack raise, which is awesome. And uh, I kind of want to switch back out here into Hydreigon and then fire off a Dark Pulse. Uh, but then again... Nah, that's not my best play. I'm going to go for my meteor, my own Meteor Mash as he brings in his Garchomp. So we're going to take a lot of damage from Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin. But now I can throw off Ice Punch and, and guaranteed kill this thing. And uh, then we can get off a spin later on either his Rotom, on his uh, Scizor that's going for Bullet Punch, so on and so forth. And uh, we can either keep Metagross alive uh, or we can let it go down uh, on the next Pokemon. Which is probably what I'm going to do. Um, and, I mean, Metagross is, is good because it hits the 350 speed tier. So it pretty much ties with the rest of his team, uh, his own Metagross. Here he has to pretty much go for Bullet Punch. Um, I think Earthquake has a potential of knocking him out, so he has to go for Bullet right there. And that's going to be a free drill for me. I'm going to be able to Rapid Spin these rocks away once and for all. And uh, then Thunderous comes in for free. Um, he's going to go for his Bullet. As you can see, it does 29%. That is enough to take us out after the next hit, I believe. Um, alternatively, I can just switch out here. But uh, I'm just going to go for EQ, uh, as that bullet punch is going to take me out. And now I'm going to go into Landorus. And I'm just going to... Hmm. Do I want to go for a Swords Dance here? I think that's potentially my best play. Or doubling into Thunderous is not bad at all. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, as he's going to go into his Rotom. Perfect. And we catch that, and I'm going to be able to throw off a Thunderbolt here. If he wants to go into his Latia, uh, Latios, excuse me, perfectly fine. I don't mind that at all. He takes 67% uh, from that Thunderbolt, which means that now he's in range of a Stone Edge, regardless of it, uh, if it's plus 2 or not. So I'm just going to go Hydreigon here. We are Scarfed, which means now I can just fire off Dark Pulses for days, and everything goes down at this point. His, Latia, his Latios, I believe, drops. Uh, it hasn't taken any damage, but I'm pr still pretty sure it goes down to one Dark Pulse. I just want to calc that. Uh, Latios. Uh, oh, you Life Orb Attacker versus Hydreigon. Scarf. Where's the Scarf set? You, you Choice Scarf. Dark Pulse actually does not do enough, uh, but he is going to choose to go into his Scizor here. So, not exactly sure why. Um, I'm just going to go into Amoongus pretty much to sack it at this point, because it doesn't do anything against the rest of his team. Uh, that's only going to do 40% though, so... Uh, I'm going to go for a Spore here in case he wants to switch it out, and he's not going to. So we're going to put this thing to sleep. And uh, I'm kind of fearing his Metagross being Rock Polish at the same time Landris. I think after, at minus one, he can't take me out with Ice Punch, so... I am just going to throw off a Hidden Power Fire here, be able to knock that out. And now whatever wants to come in and revenge me, that's perfectly fine. Um, I just need... I basically have to pressure his Latios to go for a, uh, a Draco Meteor so that my Landorus can set up and win. Um, and all it needs to do is get up one... Um, he is going to go into his uh, Metagross though. Uh, and I think we take this out, right? Metagross, all out attacker, Dark Pulse, actually it does about the same, it does about the same, so we'll just go for HP Fire here, as he goes for Meteor Mash, does not get the attack raise luckily, and um, hmm, how do I want to approach this, um, I'm going to go for Rock Polish in case he decides to switch out, because uh, if this thing comes back in, he actually gets a crit on that Meteor Mash. That's really unfortunate. Now I need a flinch or a crit uh, on this thing and on the Latios. So that's, uh, what is this set? Timid? Yeah, so it's pretty much what we're running. Dark Pulse does not get the flinch, but he is going to hammer arm me, which does give me another chance if he's not carrying bullet, but he is. Uh, and that's still not enough to take us out, though. So we need to get a flinch or a crit on this Latios right now. Or it needs to be negative special defense nature. And that's going to live at 2. And he's going to miss a Draco. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Sorry. Uh, GG. Dude, there's nothing I can do about that. That was really unfortunate. Uh, I mean, he got a crit on my uh, on my Landorus, too. So that's, uh, that's going to pick up the game right there. So you can see that the team works a little bit better. I kind of put myself in a risky position there at the, in that game. But uh, I have a knack for doing that. <laughs> 
<laughs> we were able to take out the uh, the Zoroark uh, turn one, which was really nice. Uh, I didn't really have a good lead against Zoroark, and I couldn't know that it was Zoroark either because obviously it's it's a Zoroark. So, um, so this guy's taking a while uh, to either forfeit or click his move. So I'm just gonna pause it, and we'll pick back up on the next game, guys. All right, guys. So we jumped right into another one here. Uh, this guy has a Weavile, which we had said before, Ice types were pretty threatening to this team. Um, especially ones that carry fighting coverage. Oh man, this is going to be really tough. Um, yeah, I pretty much have to lead with Metagross so that something doesn't get knocked out. Uh, alternatively, I could lead with Hydreigon. Um, which is what I think I'm going to do. Uh, as he leads with Azumarill, which is perfectly fine. We can just U-turn, and this is where the synergy between Metagross and, uh, and Hydreigon comes in that I was uh, talking about before. I'll be able to U-turn directly into my Metagross, even if he is Belly Drum, uh, plus 6 Aqua Jet, I don't, do not believe takes me out. So he's just gonna, going to switch out into his Latios, actually, and let it take damage, which is awesome, uh, as I'm going to go straight into Excadrill here. Uh, if he has Earthquake, it might take me out. But uh, anything other than that won't be able to. He's going to go into Garchomp here on my Stealth Rocks. We are going to get up Rocks for the Gyarados, for the Thunderous, for the Weavile. Pretty much everything on his team uh, takes a pretty big hit from the Rocks other than what's in right now, which is Garchomp. So, um, don't really want to switch in my Hydreigon on, on a Dragon-type move. Uh, I'd much rather pivot into Thunderous, I believe, uh, would be my best play. But if he is max speed Chomp, he outspeeds me by two points. So, I think Hydreigon is the play here, and uh, he's going to go for his own rocks here. I'm actually just going to U-turn, because I don't want his Azumarill coming in for free, as there we go, we catch that, and um, now I'm going to go Amoongus, I think, is the play. Uh, that invites in Weavile, though, which I really don't want to do. So, I'm going to go Metagross right here, as we take minimal amount from rocks, obviously, and uh, I'm just going to fire off an Ice Punch, actually, just predicting the Garchomp. And I'm not 100% sure if this takes it out or not, uh, as it does not, unfortunately. Um, it's probably just going to want to EQ here, right? So, what's my play? Landorus? I think Landorus is my play, uh, just because I take the least amount of damage from anything. Uh, as he is going to Earthquake, which is awesome. And uh, he might want to keep this. So, what I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to Rock Polish here, because if he chooses to go into Gyarados, then I'll be faster. Uh, he actually goes for Dragon Tail right there, so we are going to get dragged down into Thunderous, which is actually not too bad, because now we get to get off of him and HP Ice. So, uh, down goes his Garchomp. There we go. And uh, obviously he was defensive, we figured that out from the Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin damage. Uh, now his Weavile comes in for free, like we were saying, uh, and it gets off a nice Shard pretty much on anything. But I definitely do not want this to go down strictly because of the Gyarados but uh, I don't think I really have a choice here in the matter um, I don't think Excadrill can take a low kick either well probably he's pretty light right it's a small mole um, gonna f throw off a Thunderbolt here he's gonna go for a knockoff he's gonna take some life orb damage and uh, here we're going to I mean Metagross is pretty good here because it uh, pretty much deals with anything barring the Gyarados uh, and the Thunderous, of course. I mean, it can definitely take a Meteor Mash, but um, I kind of want to go Drill first. No, Metagross is always the best play, definitely. I'll go, uh, I'll go for Meteor Mash, and if he wants to bring in his Gyarados, then we'll start Ice Punching that. We still have an Amoongus, which can take hits, so uh, and can spore it. I'm not too worried. As he chooses to go into Azumarill, actually. Uh, so that's not going to appreciate this Meteor Mash. And uh, on the Aqua Jet, I'm just going to... Um, go into Amoongus here to take the Aqua Jet that's incoming. There we go. And here I can just go for a... Um, do I want to go for a Spore? Hmm. No, I'm just going to go for a Drain. Let him Aqua Jet me. I was thinking about Sporing because I wanted to go into Excadrill after and spin, but it was way too risky because if his, if his Azumarill got the Wake, then it was pretty much game. Uh, here, I'm just going to go for a Hidden Power Fire as he's going to Icicle Crash, which is the correct play. That's good on him. Um, just going to go Metagross again. And uh, again, I don't think Knockoff takes me out 
because it's base 65 because they don't have an item stuff like that so just gonna go for mash here as it actually does take me out with a crit that's a little unfortunate and uh, what's good is that hydragon can still clean the game I uh, just need to get off this spin here uh, do I want to go for spin or do I want to go for iron head I'm gonna go for spin definitely uh, he could be predicting scarf drill which is what I'm kind of hoping and uh, these guys are getting a little uh, obnoxious in the chat here I ignore spectators and players and uh, we're gonna be able to spin on the weavile and get rid of the rocks his Latios does come in here it is gonna be able to take us out however um, do I want to keep this drill no I do not I'm just going to iron head uh, so he's actually gonna get rid of the rocks on my side on, on his own side uh, now I can see him definitely going for a Draco Meteor. So do I just want to lower this thing's special defense? Uh, this uh, special attack, I mean. And just sack off my Landorus, bring back in my drill. No, because he's going to die to Life Orb anyway. So I'm just going to go for rocks. He's going to go for Psy Shock. It's going to be able to knock me out. Uh, and now... Now I need to go into Hydreigon on the Thunderous. And uh, I think just Draco... Well, the thing is, I, I really don't want this thing getting Thunder Wave, but there's nothing I can do about it. Because if I switch into Landorus, he's just going to HP Ice me anyway. So, I definitely have to Draco Meteor here. Or just Dark Pulse. Yeah, Dark Pulse is the best play. Chance to flinch. And we actually do get the flinch there. Wow. That's insane. And we're able to knock out his Thunderous on the second hit. His Gyarados does come out. Uh, this is more than likely... Uh... Mega Gyarados? Yeah, it's got to be Mega Gyarados. So I'm going to go directly into Landorus. I'm not going to play around with this thing, as he is going to Mega Evolve right off the bat. Probably going to go for a Dragon Dance, as he does. And uh, if he has Ice Fang, I don't think he can take us out. I'm just going to go for an EQ here. I'm going to do as much damage as possible. I'm going to go for another one, as he does have Ice Fang. And I think that's going to be able to take us out. Actually, we should be faster. No, he's at plus two speed. Uh, so unless he misses an Ice Fang here... Uh, that's pretty much game. I'm just going to drop a Draco. And he actually does miss an Ice Fang. We win another game to a miss. That's crazy. Wow, guys. Uh, I really don't like picking up a bunch of wins like that in an episode. But, I mean, if it gets us higher on the ladder... No, I'm kidding. That's that's really unfortunate for him. Uh, I did block spectators and, uh, and players, so I'm not going to drop any kind of GG or anything because they were getting a little bit annoying. But, um, I mean, <laughs> we pick up two wins on misses, so... Uh, I'll take it. Hydreigon definitely the star. I think it might get the thumbnail to itself. We'll see. Uh, actually, Excadrill definitely put in a lot of work uh, between spinning, setting up rocks, and everything. So uh, might might go with that as well. Yeah, I think Hydreigon and uh, and Excadrill. You'll see those on the thumbnail. You've already seen them on the thumbnail, but yeah. So uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the audio quality first and foremost, because. Uh, I'm hoping the mic is doing its job, and if you did, uh, if you did like the video, if you liked anything at all, uh, hit that like button down below. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more, as usual, and uh, leave a comment if you have anything, uh, any questions, anything at all. And yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a good one. Ciao.